Hello students. So uh, we are on the unit three, and uh, in this lecture, we will discuss some important topics related to the fuzzy logic. And these topics are operations and composition of fuzzy relations. So there are a lot of operations which we can perform on fuzzy relations, and there is very one very important uh, operation that is the composition of the different relations. So in this lecture we will cover these two topic. As uh, in the last lecture you have seen how we can make a fuzzy relations of two fuzzy sets which are built up on two different universe of discourse. So I think the very important concept of fuzzy relations are that uh, say for example we are having a relation R which is uh, maintained in two fuzzy sets, fuzzy set A and fuzzy set B. And these two fuzzy sets depend on two different universe of discourse. So we can say that fuzzy relation is based on the concept that all the elements of one universe of discourse are somehow related to all the elements of the another universe of discourse, or they are not related at all. So by this way, we have seen that the relation between two fuzzy sets has been achieved with the help of the Cartesian product of the two fuzzy sets. Because we are saying that every element of uh, one uni universe of discourse is uh, anyhow connected to all the elements of the another universe of discourse. So that is why we are saying because there is a relation ordered pair of every element of first universe of discourse to every element of another universe of discourse. That is a collection of all the ordered pair of first uh, uh, universal set to the second universal set. So that relationship, that fuzzy relationship can be achieved with the help of the Cartesian product of the two fuzzy sets, which we have already seen in the last lecture. So here, uh, while talking about the variety of operations which we are going to perform on the fuzzy relations, so suppose we are having two fuzzy relations R and S. So we are saying this R. Here is one tilde sign. This in, this itself indicates that the R is a fuzzy relation. Similarly, S is also a fuzzy relation on the Cartesian space X cross Y. It means R is a relation as well as S is also a relation and that relationship is established, that fuzzy relationship is established in a Cartesian product X cross Y. So, so again after getting the uh, operation, different operation you will get the, uh, you will get a sort of relation itself. So what we are doing here, we are doing the union of the two relations. So two relations are given to us and these two relations they are the fuzzy relations and they have been established on the universe of discourse and we are making the union of these two fuzzy relations and finally we are again getting a sort of the relation and that relation can be represented in the form of the Cartesian product and uh, where the value of that relation will have the membership value of all the ordered pair of x and y. So see what, where, uh, what here we are saying, we want the union of two Cartesian product of the uh, two different universe of discourse on X and Y and they are R and U and by this way the membership value which we are getting to uh, which we are getting in the final relation would be the maximum value which we receive in first relation or in the second relation. So while making the union of two relations, two fuzzy relations, we will again get a fuzzy relation and here the value, here the membership value of all the ordered pair of x and y will be the maximum value of either uh, of either the R or, or the S relations, right. Similarly, suppose if we are asked to do the intersection of two fuzzy relations, again the concept is that we are having one relation R and another relation S. Keep remember one thing that in this scenario, these two fuzzy relations are working on the same on the uh, same type of the universal set. If as if R is a relation which is working on x cross y, so certainly S must be established on the space x cross y. And in this in this scenario, if we are doing the intersection, so again the intersection of two fuzzy relation will again be a fuzzy relation, and that fuzzy relation will be a sort of the Cartesian product, and this Cartesian product will have the 
membership value of the ordered pair of each element of x with each element of y and now if we are doing the intersection so here the membership value of the ordered pair of x and y will be the minimum value among the two that is the minimum value taken from r or minimum or the value taken from s for any ordered pair for any ordered pair x and y we are taking the minimum value either from uh, r or from s so whichever is having the minimum value that will be capped as the resultant of the intersection right in the similar way there is one another operation that is the uh, complement operation and here in this complement operation again complement is very easy so here what we are doing we are having a relation r this r relation and here the membership value of all the ordered pair of x of x and i will be 1 minus the existing membership value in the cartesian uh, product r similarly we are having the containment operation so we can say r is a subset of relation fuzzy set s if it is hap it, if if this happens then certainly the membership value of ordered pair x and y in the r relation would be lesser than equal to the membership value of the ordered pair x and y in s relation so by this way we have seen how different kind of operation works with works with fuzzy set now now we are coming on the second part that is the composition of the fuzzy relation that is the most important most important topic of the unit 3 composition means say for example we are having two relation first relation is having a relationship between fuzzy set x and fuzzy set y and then further we are having a relationship which make a connection between the element of universal universal set y with the element of universal set z so now our objective is to make a final relationship which provides the connection of all the element of elements in set x with the elements of set z so here you can see what is happening here we are having two fuzzy sets which are given to us fuzzy set r and fuzzy set s these two fuzzy sets are given to us fuzzy set r it is establishing a relationship in a in a space x cross y and similarly s is a fuzzy set which is establishing a relationship in a space y cross z and our objective is that we want to establish a relationship between the elements of x fuzzy x fuzzy set with the elements of z fuzzy set so that kind of relationship can be achieved with the help of the composition operation so that kind of composition uh, here we are discussing that so that composition is represented by the this hollow symbol so we simply uh, say that this is r o s mu r o s of x of z so here our objective is to achieve the membership value of the ordered pair of every element of x with every element of z so our objective is that to make all possible ordered pair of x and z and their membership value is required so that value can be represented as mu ros xz so that can be achieved by the max min composition by the max min composition so max min composition means first you will apply the min function then finally you have to apply the max composition so here see what we are doing we have to establish a relationship from x to z and here what we are having we are having a relationship from x to y we have it is given to us which is available in r this relationship is given to us so every element of x have a connection with every element of y so these are the ordered pair of the uh, x and y so we can say mu x1 y1 is 0.5 mu x1 y2 is 0.1 mu x2 y1 is 0.2 and so on it is given to us so this relationship is given to us similarly one another fuzzy relationship that is fuzzy set 
um, that is fuzzy relation s which is also given and its value is like this now our objective is we want to find a relationship between x1 and z1 so there are two ways to make this connection first of all we can have x1 y1 and then y1 to z1 or what we can do we can move from x1 to y2 and then y2 to z1 so there are there are two possible there are only two possible ways by which we can achieve a relationship between x1 to z1 because here in this specific example what we are saying that x1 is having a relationship with y1 as well as x1 is also having a relationship with y2 and our objective is we want to find a relationship from x1 to z1 so it means there are only two ways to move to z1 that is either by going y1 or by going y2 so one path is x1 y1 z1 or another path is x1 y2 z1 source is fixed destination is fixed but we are having choice in the intermediary paths so our objective is we want a relationship we want a relationship that is ros relationship here r it is working it is a relationship working on x cross y s is a relationship which is working on y cross z and ros will provide a relationship between the element of x and the element of z so it means we want all the ordered pair of x and z so by this way so say for example first of all we want a relationship x1 z1 so it means x1 is fixed z1 is fixed x1 is a source z1 is a destination so we want a connection from x1 to z1 so we have a flexibility from x1 to z1 we can move either from y1 or from y2 say for example i want to say that uh, from ghazibad we want to move from ghazibad to jaipur right so there are two ways one way is either by ghazibad to delhi then delhi to jaipur another way is ghazibad to faridabad faridabad to jaipur say for example say for example hai na in that way so which path i want to follow say for example in ghazibad to delhi there are some congestion there are some potholes and from delhi to uh, jaipur there may be some uh, road conditions so according to the scenario i just want to get a fair idea ki which path will be suitable for me so here what you are seeing we will take the minimum here uh, what is happening there is one way from x1 to y1 its cost is 0.5 and from y1 to z1 its cost is 0.6 so whatever the minimum cost is there minimum is we are taking the minimum one minimum side one so say for example we are saying that okay if uh, we are saying uh, one is there road condition is perfect there is no congestion then we will assigning the value one if road condition is very bad we are say for example we are assigning is 0.1 if road condition is so so we are assigning uh, a value 0.5 uh, road condition is okay good so we are assigning it 0.7 so say for example if uh, ghazibad to delhi road condition is extremely poor if from ghazibad to delhi road condition is extremely poor we are assigning it say value 0.1 and then we are we want to plan uh, our, our journey from ghazibad to jaipur via delhi in that way what we will choose we will choose suppose delhi to jaipur it is good so say for its value is 0.8 so in the entire path we will choose the minimum uh, membership value so in the path from ghazibad to jaipur we will take the Uh, this membership value as 0.1 because from Ghazipur to Delhi path is very poor. There are a lot of potholes. There are a lot of congestions. Similarly, if we are uh, planning the journey from Ghazipur to Jaipur for via Faridabad, and say for example Ghazipur to Faridabad, it is okay, just okay. It is 0.5, and from Faridabad to Jaipur, it is okay, just again okay. It is 0.45. So here by this way we will take the minimum one. So from Ghazipur to Jaipur via Faridabad, we will take the membership value 0.45 so by this way we, we can have a, a fair a fair enough idea about all the possible path from ghazibad to jaipur and the path which is having the maximum value this will provide us the best way to choose one in the similar way 
I have shared you the uh, the thing with uh, with an example in the similar way. What we are doing here, we want to move from x1 to z1. So we are have uh, we have two flexibility, either by x1 y1 and then y1 to z1 or from x1 y2 then z1. X1 is fixed, z1 is fixed. There are there are two flexibilities, two options are there. Intermediary node they are y1 or y2. So what we are seeing. So here, just see, from x1 y1, its value is 0.5, and from y1 z1, its value is 0.6. So we will choose the minimum one. We will choose the minimum one, and that minimum one is 0.5, right? That minimum one is 0.5. x1 y1, then y1 z1, its minimum value is 0.1. So for, from first path, you are having the minimum value that is. That is 0.5. This minimum value you are taking 0.5. Now another is x1, y2, then y2, z1. So x1, y2, this is having the minimum value which is 0.1. So it means from y2 path, from y2 path you are having the minimum value that is 0.1, and from y1 you are having the minimum value that is 0.1. Among these two, you have to select the maximum. Value. Which one will, will will be the good for us? So 0.5 is good fun, uh, good for us. So we will make the membership value of the ordered pair of x1, z1 as 0.5. And with the same way, with the same way, we can find the membership value of all the ordered pair of x and z in the same way. And this is known as the max min composition. This is known as the Max min composition. Now let us take x3 z2. X3 z2. So here, what is x3 is fixed? It is source. Z2 is fixed. It is destination. Again, you have the flexibility of two intermediary nodes: x3 y1 z2 or x3 y2. Uh, say, for example, we were uh, talking about x3 z3. X3 z3. So source is x3, destination is z3. So ordered pair x3, z3 is required. We want to find out the membership value of mu x3, z3. So x3 is fixed, z3 is fixed, but the intermediary can be y1, y2. So if from x3 we were going to y1, it is 0.8, and from y1 to z3 it is 0.7. So here the minimum value is 0.7. Y of y1, its value is 0.7. And now, x3, y2, 0.6, y2, z3, 0.9. So, minimum value is 0.6. So, from 0.7 and 0.6, we will choose the maximum that will be the 0.7. So, by this way, this makes the min max composition. This is extremely important. As I told you that uh, once we are work, once we start working with the fuzzy relations, this is uh, this topic is very important and after that once we start working with the composition of the different fuzzy relation this is further very important here you can see that the membership value of ros and this ros is the composition of fuzzy relation r with fuzzy relation s and here we are interested to find the membership value of the ordered pair x1 z1 so that will be the maximum of these two minimums max min so in first way what we are taking we are taking the minimum x1 y1 or y1 z1 from this we are taking the minimum similarly x1 y2 then y2 z1 we are taking minimum from this it means the all possible ways from which we can move from source to destination from all these possible ways in all these ways we will choose the minimum of all the ways and finally once all the information has been collected finally we will select the value which is the maximum among all of them are you talking to are, are, are you considering my point here you can see here say for example it is delhi sorry it is gazibat it is jammu so it is gazibat then delhi delhi to jaipur this one and the minimum you are taking here now this is gazibat it is faridabad this is faridabad and it is jaipur 
so so it is what i am saying from gazeba to delhi then delhi to jaipur so in these two separate paths we have to get the minimum of the two similarly from gazeba to faridabad faridabad to jaipur we have to take the minimum of the two and by this way you find the minimum value of these two different paths um, among these two or multiple paths you have to select the maximum path the path which will provide the maximum value so here we are applying the max and finally it is the find by this way by this way you have to calculate the membership value of all the ordered pair of x and y finally with the help of the composition you will be able uh, to make a relationship between the element of universal set x with the element of universal set z okay so there is uh, one another way to find the composition of fuzzy relations and they that is known as the max product composition see students uh till now we have established a relationship and uh, with the help of uh, relations further you came to know that how you can find out the composition of relation that composition of relation can be achieved either by max min composition or max product composition most in most of the scenario max min compositions are very much useful in most of the scenario you will using only the max min composition but in some cases some of the authors are also using one another technique to find the composition of two relations and that technique is the max product composition so i am just giving you the glimpse of that technique also say for example you are having two relation fuzzy relation one is fuzzy relation r one is fuzzy relation z uh, sorry s r is a fuzzy relation which is applicable on two universe of discourse x uh, and y and here s fuzzy relation it works on y and z and the composition of the relation t which will make a relationship between all the element of x with all the element of z it is represented by t so mu t x z is also known as mu r dot x dot s so that is known as the max product the product that is why here we are not uh, writing o we are writing here dot mu r dot s so it will provide the value of the ordered pair x and z so what we are doing here we will what we are doing we are multiplying the uh, membership value of x y and y z for all possible for all possible different values for y and among all these values we are taking the maximum one are you getting my point among all possible y's we are taking the maximum one see here what we are doing say we want to take the uh, we want to take the value of x1 z1 for the similar for the previous one example so x1 is fixed z1 is fixed but there are there are two possibility one is y1 another is y2 so here what we are saying max of x1 y1 dot y1 z1 another one is mu x1 y2 dot y2 z1 so after getting the multiplication of these two membership values finally you have to take the uh, one which is the maximum so this is one another way to do the max min composition uh, sorry max min composition and the max product composition so now finally copying uh, to the properties of the fuzzy composition there are some properties which are useful for the fuzzy comp composition first property is that the composition is not associative ROS is not equal to SOR. ROS is not equal to SO. However, it bears the associative property. That is, ROS OM is equal to ROSOM. That means, further, first of all, we are making a composition of SOM, and then finally, this relationship is further composed with R. and finally the result which you are getting will be equal to the result of the left hand side so it holds associativity holds with the composition uh, function associative uh, this commutativity does not hold and once we make the inverse of ros it will be equal to the inverse of s o inverse of r so these are some of the important properties which works with the 
composition rule, composition operation of the fuzzy relations. So that's all about uh, this lecture. In the next lecture, uh, we will do some more things related to the fuzzy logic. Thank you very much.